What's up guys, today we'll be talking about different types of displays that you get to see in higher end or expensive televisions which are the OLED displays, QLED displays and the newer SLED or SLED displays which is premiering in the Realme TV which is just launching or has launched depends on how long or how fast I edit uh, I hope so We'll be talking about the differences in these displays and we'll see which one is the best one or which one stands out out of all of these. So my name is Gaurav, this is Technicos and let's get straight into it. So the factors we'll be considering are going to be the picture quality, response time, viewing angles, contrast ratio, brightness, price and all the disadvantages of these displays so let's get straight into it so starting with the s led technology or display s led basically means super luminescent led light emitting diode uh, not important it basically uses rgb diodes for the backlighting most of the displays use blue light for backlighting which provides the brightness but this one uses rgb lights so it's better for your eyes and it reduces the blue light emission which Harm, which is basically harmful for your eyes. Next is the QLED technology. Now QLED refers to quantum dots LED light emitting diode. It basically uses quantum dots for colors and I'm not going to go into the details of what quantum dots are. The only thing to know here is that QLED provides the best color accuracy out of all of these displays. Next comes the OLED, which we are very much familiar to. These are available in our TVs, some of the monitors, and most of our watches, smart watches, and smartphones. So we know uh, what OLED is. OLED is basically organic LED. It uses OLED pixels to provide the colors. Now the best thing here is that th those pixels can provide own light, their own lighting. They don't need a blue light for lighting. So that is the best part of the OLED display and since they have their own lights they can turn off and create the best blacks so it has the best black accuracy in all of these displays so talking about the picture quality now the S LED in the picture quality is a bit decent I would say it is much better than any LED, LED display but still is just kind of decent now the QLED is much better than S LED or SLED but is a bit less better than OLED displays but it also kind of depends on how it is being made it also depends on the manufacturer because a good quality QLED can be much much better than some OLED displays and whereas the cheap QLEDs can be a bit underwhelming now the OLED display is the best in picture quality or I would say overall display quality and we see that in our devices you can see that your mobile has a better display than your tv or your laptop it's pretty visible now coming on to the response time now response time depends a lot on the processor which is being used but also depends on the display quality or i should say the display technology now in the s led it is pretty slow but kind of depends on the processor too. In QLED, it can be fast or slow. It basically totally depends on the processor. And in OLED, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. You see, we can go up to 120 Hertz in OLED displays pretty easily, but you don't see many 120 Hertz QLED, you know, TVs or anything like that, because it's pretty hard. It's not easy to get it to a faster refresh rate or response time. Coming on to the next topic, which is the viewing angles. Now, I explained what viewing angles are in our previous video, which was about VA panels and the IPS panels. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. I'll put it in the I button or in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. But I will give it a quick, you know, viewing angles are basically the angles on which you can watch the display and it does not lose any quality. So viewing angles on SLED is pretty good. It's better than LED. I should not mention that all of these displays are much better than LED displays. Coming on to the QLED, QLED is much better than SLED in viewing angles. 
and when it comes to OLED, OLED is not that great when it comes to viewing angles and we know we cannot see our mobile from a 90 or no sorry I don't know maths uh, from a 180 degree angle or even a 160 or 150 degree you can almost see it at 90 or either max to max 120 but in a TV we can watch it from 170 to 180 anywhere not exactly 180 I was a bit wrong but yes anywhere less than 180 now talking about the contrast ratio now contrast ratio is basically how bright or how dim your display is and it's the ratio of those two those two things so s led has a decent contrast ratio whereas qled has a pretty better or pretty good contrast ratio and oled has the best one out of all of these three now when it comes to brightness s led can give you medium brightness whereas qled can give you high brightness and the oled can give you very very high brightness and we see that it's just look at your phone that is an oled display if you have an oled display or amoled display phone i'm sorry if you have ips display but hey you can still compare it with the ips video uh, you can the last topic is the size and the price so it's not really easy to make such big panels in most cases but s led is pretty easy to construct when it comes to the size so you'll mostly see or right now you can see just one device the realme s led tv they come in big sizes like 55 inch or 60 inch or even 70 inch and also qled is not that you know hard to build in a bigger size but the oled display is pretty pretty hard to make in a big size so you would not see many devices with oled displays and if you'll see those tvs they're priced at about 200k or you know 2 lakh rupees or above i would say above 1.5 lakh rupees but yes s led is a bit cheaper and the qled is a bit expensive than the s led but oled is the most expensive one so talking about the disadvantages of all of these displays starting with the s led now s led has a mediocre brightness which i just mentioned and it does not support hdr or hdr content so it's kind of a bummer that you're buying a 50,000 device and you can't still watch hdr content and hdr is basically a brighter better content and even the contrast in s led is not that great it's just decent enough that's about it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one